Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And today we're doing another Oculus Link versus Virtual Desktop. And why not make things more fun and add a little spice there with some Oculus Quest 2? Let's go! Welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K, and today we're talking about the Oculus Link versus Virtual Desktop, as we always do every single Tuesday, that's right. But today we're going to throw a wild card in there with some Oculus Quest also. Mm, it's going to be very interesting. We're going to be using an app called Down the Rabbit Hole, which is a fantastic, magical app where you go down through the rabbit hole in the world of Alice in Wonderland. Do hit the bell notification when you hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload the review of that wonderful app coming soon. If you're not familiar with what Virtual Desktop is, it's a magical piece of software which enables you to stream anything from your PC directly inside of your Oculus Quest completely wirelessly. And no, you do not need a PC VR ready machine as you could use a third party cloud based software called Shadow, but it's not available in every country. For example, it's not available here in Singapore and I've never been able to try. So I can't tell you whether it's good or not. Do know that Virtual Desktop had a new update yesterday, which was Monday the 20th of April. Do stay put until the end of the video so I can share with you some of those changes that occurred. When you launch Virtual Desktop for the very first time from your library, it will ask you to update. So there's no need to actually go into SideQuest to do the update. It will do it automatically for you. After the install has completed, before you open Virtual Desktop on your Oculus Quest, make sure that the app streamer was closed on your PC, then re-enable it. It will download automatically the new version 1.13.1. Now wait, because when I went inside a virtual desktop after I finished the install of absolutely everything, both the games tab and the launch Steam VR apps tab had disappeared, which basically meant I couldn't launch any games whatsoever or VR experiences from the desktop inside the Oculus Quest using virtual desktop. But there is a way to bypass this. So to try and solve this, I went into various different Oculus Quest Facebook groups. And what some people have actually done is they deleted the previous version of Virtual Desktop. And I went to the Virtual Desktop GitHub and downloaded the APK and basically installed it via SideQuest. So there is a link in the description below to the GitHub link where you can download the APK. However, do know that when I tried to do that, I was going to have to wait 15 hours. I'm not quite sure why, so maybe it's been fixed or maybe not, I don't know, but do go and try that if you have to. However, I also went to the Virtual Desktops Discord, very cool guys over there, they're very helpful people, and they did say that maybe I should click allow for all the different things like microphone and all those kind of things. So I strapped on my second Oculus Quest, I went to the settings before I even started to install anything, settings, CO, then I went to find the app and I clicked on the little square with the little arrow icon and made sure the microphone and storage was on allow. Then I redid the installation directly via the Oculus Quest without having to go to SideQuest and Bob's your uncle. Everything was fine. The tabs were there. I could actually access any VR experience via virtual desktop itself. I forgot to mention in previous videos that I actually use an internet dongle hooked up to an extension connected from my PC and placed all the way right next to the router for faster internet. So when I was standing about a couple of meters away from the router with my Oculus Quest on my head using virtual desktop, I didn't see really huge improvements to be honest. I was using 44 megabits per second with 36% of CPU and 64% of GPU usage. So plenty of room to maneuver with graphical intense VR experiences like Half-Life Alex. And I was at using about 72 frames per second for the video and 73 frames per second overall. So, you know, it should have been okay. The settings that I used inside a virtual desktop were all set to medium, except for enabling the slicing coding for some slight improvements. All right, time to play our weekly game where you get to guess which is which. So which is Oculus Link, which is Virtual Desktop, and which is Oculus Quest? Is it A, B, or C? Try to look at the shadows, at the specularity, at the flames, at the colors, all those kind of differences. Also, any starter there? Mm, that could be a giveaway. All right, let's roll the music.
before I share with you the results, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which was all about how VR is benefiting those during the lockdown. You guys are awesome. Do leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. <laughs> all right, time for the results show. And similarly to whose line is it anyway? Do go and check out that show, it's so bloody hilarious. We're going to give out tons of points that just don't matter. All right, so if you had guessed that C was virtual desktop, you would have got it right. And you win a million points, Poof, just like that. And so A, was it Oculus Quest or Oculus Link? Well, if you thought that Oculus Link was A, you would have got it wrong. That's right, Oculus Link was actually B and Oculus Quest is A. So if you got A, B and C right, you get a trillion points. Whew. The Link vs VD show gives us a really good opportunity to track the consistency and the progress of this marvelous technology that virtual desktop is. And I have to admit that with the new update of 1.13.1, I'm having a lot of stuttering issues. I feel like we went backwards. I, it could be because I'm running version 15 on the Oculus Quest and not version 16, very possible. So we're gonna have to wait until next week's show to see the progress when I get the patch from Oculus. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love today, you and I. Together we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in VR because ultimately that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy. As always, stay safe, wash your hands and DJ, take it away. I think I'll try this a new way. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know I'm getting tired of talking And I need more of a show right now It's time that you made your mind up Cause lately all it ever does is change Feels like we're only talking